I see so many founders and entrepreneurs waste countless hours per week hunting for the information they need because they have their personal tasks and notes in Apple Notes, their team's tasks in ClickUp or Asana, and their business documentation in, on Google Drive or Dropbox. Yet the same as you have your pans, your knives, your ingredients, your food in one place, your kitchen, you should have your entire business operations in one workspace. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to centralize your business in Notion based on everything I've learned from doing exactly that for more than 36 figure founders and selling more than 1800 templates online. Because this is what I do for a living. I systemize businesses so founders can take back their time and scale faster with less stress. And the first thing we do, the first thing we do is organizing their entire business in one Notion workspace and if you are running a business and you're not centralized you're missing out severely why for three reasons you don't waste time hunting for resources because you have everything you need in one place right you have all your areas organized you have all your projects organized you know who's responsible for what you know what's what all the you know deliverables and things you you need to do are you have the space to you know, organize and execute all of your inputs, you know, all of your tasks, you have access to all of your resources, right? And this saves you enormous amounts of time every single week. It gives you this big picture overview over your business, your projects, your timelines, the ownerships, which enhances collaboration, which helps you make better decisions, which reduces stress because you have clarity about everything that's happening in your company. And lastly, you have this amazing foundation to start automating and delegating your business because all of your processes are organized in one place all of your area all of your work is organized into neat areas and projects so when it comes time to delegate it's very easy right you assign a project you assign an area and it's done so now i'm going to show you how to centralize your business in one notion workspace so you can experience all of those benefits and scale faster with less stress but before we use the template, we need to understand the root cause of why businesses aren't centralized and are suffering from all those inefficiencies, wasted time and compromised scaling. And to understand that, we need to understand what a business is if we boil it down to the first principles. Of course, it's simplified, but in general, no matter the complexity or size of a business, whether it's a bakery or SpaceX, a business is really three things, outputs, inputs and process. Outputs are the products and services your business produces. Inputs is everything that flows into your business to produce those outputs, right? The work, the capital, the know-how, the energy, and the people who actually provide that, right? And then the process, which are the workflows, the frameworks, the rituals that turn the inputs into outputs, right? So this is what a business is. And because of that, the workspace you have, the, the place where you're managing your work, where you're managing your operations, has to include outputs and inputs. It has to has it has to have databases for outputs and inputs. And by the way, this is the main reason most work organization and work, most project management tools fail because they either lack inputs or outputs. And because of that, you can't have everything in one place and therefore everything is scattered and your uh, organization sucks. And this brings us to workspace principles, which I've developed based on the work I've done with founders and the hundreds of systems that I've sold. And your workspace has to comply with all those three principles, because if one is missing, you're gonna fail. So first, as mentioned before, your workspace has to contain both outputs and inputs. Otherwise, centralization will be impossible. You will be scattered, right? Second, Inputs and outputs have to be interconnected, right? To enable both a top-down and bottom-up view or work, right? Top-down is planning, meaning you have to be able to plan inputs from your outputs. And by the way, everything is going to become clearer in a few seconds. And bottom-up, you have to be able to quickly add the inputs and connect them to the outputs, right? To connect them to the big picture. And third principle is simplicity, right? Because simplicity scales and complexity fails. The workspace has to be easy and intuitive to use, otherwise you won't use it, right? So here's the 
workspace architecture and we're going to look at the notion template in a few seconds but let's just look at the diagram to understand how the workspace is structured so in blue we have the output databases and gray we have the input databases and starting at the top so areas are key spheres of activity with a standard to be maintained over time these are buckets to organize different parts of your business and examples may be um, operations uh, delivery, uh, sales and marketing, HR, you know, different parts of your business and they don't have a deadline. They stay with your business as your business grows. Then we have projects which are similar, but these are initiatives with a deadline, right? They are timely and specific and examples are a marketing com campaign for Mother's Day, for example, or a new product launch or your newsletter and so on and so forth. And then we have inputs, tasks, I think self-explanatory things that are supposed to be done, right? Actions. And then we have resources, which are non-actionable inputs, right? Your docs, your notes, your SOPs, your links, right? And as you can see, everything here is interconnected, which means we can connect tasks and resources to projects and areas, and we can create or plan tasks and resources inside outputs, projects and areas. So this gives us this, flexibility, this top-down view and this bottom-down view. And then we have quick capture button that, that I'm going to show in a second to so we can quickly add those inputs no matter, you know, where you are, whether you are on a walk or whether you are in a meeting, whether you are in the middle of work. Okay, let's now take a look at the template at Founder Mind. And as you can see, it reflects the architecture that we've just discussed and the workspace principles. So in blue, we have the outputs. In gray slash white, we have the inputs. And then we have this quick capture section. And this is basically everything or almost everything you need to, op to, to organize or centralize your business operations. Of course, we can expand it with different databases, for example, a CRM or a content database. But this, the areas, the projects, the tasks, the resources is an amazing starting point and it will cover 80 or 90% of all your use cases, right? So starting with the outputs, starting with areas, all the databases are neatly hidden behind toggles here. So to access them, we simply have to click this toggle. And here are some example areas. So sales and marketing, operations, finance and admin, and then personal. As a founder, you can have a personal area that you don't want your team to access. And then the beautiful thing about this template is that it's interconnected, right? So when we open sales and marketing, we're going to see everything relevant to this area, right? So we're going to have to see the active projects. We're going to see different tasks. This, this database is empty. We don't have any tasks for this area, but in general, we can have different tasks here and different resources, right? Like sales script, branding assets, and different things, right? And we can quickly access those relevant things simply by clicking here. We have access to the sales script. So everything is neatly organized in one place. You have this big picture view over everything that is happening in sales and marketing. And you can quickly access the active projects, right? So maybe you want to see the newsletters, right? So you open the newsletter project, which is also an output, right? So it contains inputs, meaning tasks and resources. So you have access to the history, so to all your, the newsletters that you've published. You see all the tasks and who's responsible for those tasks and everything is neatly you know, organized. So if you organize those different areas of your business like this, you're gonna have this big picture overview and it's also gonna be way easier to delegate, right? Because if you wanna hire somebody responsible for sales and marketing, you just give them access to this area and then they literally have everything they need to understand what happened you know, in this area, where this area is and where this area is supposed to go, right? We have other areas, just, just to show you operations. Again, you see the projects, finance, admin, you can have, for example, like big picture plans for this area, for example, like quarterly planning, right? And it's already scheduled, so you don't forget it. You have a project to hire a new copywriter and then different resources, for example, founder mind onboarding, so when you onboard any, you know, any employee here, you simply give them access to the onboarding and they have everything they need to understand how all of this works, right? So now we have projects. Again, we can have different views, but here we have you know, some example projects. We see who is responsible for the project, what area it connects to, what's the progress of the project. So how many of the scheduled tasks have been completed and yeah, we see 
everything. We have the big picture. And as mentioned before, right, we have the inputs inside. So we can add different tasks. We can add different resources. For example, we have the copywriter job requirements. We can quickly access and yeah, we have the time frame. We have the progress. Who's responsible for the project, right? So everything you need to know, to, you need to know to execute a given project to deliver a given project is in one place. And this is again invaluable when you have a team because they simply enter this project and they see everything they need um, to know about it, right? To work efficiently. Um, and we can have different views, like a table, we can have a Kanban board and different order views here. Then let's talk about the inputs, right? So we have the tasks, um, the things we have to do right with different views we even have the calendar to see you know the entire wor um, workflow or workload of a given week and then you know the inbox view is really you know a place to dump all your tasks it contains tasks without a date right so for example we have this task without a date prepare questions for the interview okay i see it in the inbox so i can assign a date because i want to do it today i assign today as the date and then you have this today view which contains basically all the tasks for today right you see the owner you see the priority you see the project it relates to you even have such a task like take out trash in case you forget right so you have everything you need to do in one place connected to the big picture right and for example we could organize this task if we wanted by connecting it to the personal area right personal and then when we enter the personal area, we can actually do it from here. Boom, we're going to see this task here. And then when we complete it, we're going to see the history of the entire area of all the work that has been done in this given area, right? And then we have different views, tomorrow view, overview view, all tasks, group by project, right? So you see the big picture of all the work that is supposed to be done, the backlog, which is empty and all completed tasks. And again, we have this calendar, where you can quickly reschedule, schedule meetings. So all the work is in one place. And then we have resources, right? We have, we, can, we have a pin section where we can, for example, have the founder onboarding and order important uh, resources by simply clicking this checkbox. For example, show our thoughts. I want to have it pinned here. I can have it. Here the resources are grouped by project. They can be grouped by area. So in other words, you have all the resources, all the notes, all the docs. For example, we have the newsletters, we have the job requirements, we have a survey outline. Everything we need is in one place, right? So, and the last thing, the quick capture buttons. So if you're in the middle of work or you're writing an article like this one, you can quickly just open Founder Mind, click new task, new task about X, and then go back to work, right? And this way you can quickly capture anything without getting too distracted and at the same time not losing this precious thought or this important thought, um, you know, to do something, right? And then this task is in your inbox. You can review this inbox and then connect it to a relevant uh, project, let's say this, and schedule a date, for example, for tomorrow. And that way you never forget about anything important you have to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, so having your operations organized like this in one place is an amazing boost because you don't waste time hunting for resources because you have everything you need in one place, right? You have all your areas organized, you have all your projects organized, you know who's responsible for what, you know what's, what all the you know, deliverables and things you, you need to do are. You have the space to you know, organize and execute all of your inputs, you know, all of your tasks, you have access to all of your resources, right? And this saves you enormous amounts of time every single week. It gives you this big picture overview over your business, your projects, your timelines, the ownerships, which enhances collaboration, which um, helps you make better decisions, which reduces stress because you have clarity about everything that's happening in your company. And lastly, you have this amazing foundation to start automating and delegating your business because all of your processes are organized in one place all of your area all of your work is organized into neat 
areas and projects. So when it comes time to delegate, it's very easy, right? You assign a project, you assign an area and it's done. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is what I wanted to cover in this video. Now you know how to centralize your business to save time and regain control over your business and scale faster. You can get this template by clicking the link in my description. It's free, so you can get started. If you have any questions, comment below or write to me. And if you found this valuable, subscribe and see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. Bye.